What is going on, folks? It's Nimblethaw here. I'm back at it yet again. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today, and thank you so much for joining me in my mobile gaming quest where I document playing a brand new mobile game every single day. And the other day, I found a really interesting game called Super Crossbot Challenge, and I actually ended up liking it so much that I figured that I would do a video about it here today for you guys. So that is what you're seeing right now. This great game here, the concept, as with many great games, is really, really simple. We simply have to hit the crossbar of this football goal here. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this though. We can tap to throw the ball into the air and then we can swipe to hit it at just the right time to hit the crossbar. We can also just simply swipe. We don't have to tap first, simply swipe like that. If we, let's see if we can hit it. Yes, we hit it probably there. And you guys can see that the football goal changes in size. So you can't simply just do the same swipe over and over again. We have a couple of different ways to, to do these uh, goals though. We can do the simple one, which is simply the swipe. We can do the bicycle one, which is the one I showed you before. The volley one means that we hit the ball just, just before it reaches the ground and then balloon is if we can actually make the ball fly up into the air above the screen and then fall down and hit the uh, hit the crossbar of the goal. So you guys could see that doing so we get different types of bonuses. So a simple shot gives us time one multiplier. Uh, the, you know, doing the balloon one gives four times multiplier. But we also get a multiplier simply by hitting hitting properly many times in a row. So we can do it consecutively. We will get more. Uh, we will get more points and a higher higher multiplier. This is a bit difficult without the audio though. I use audio cues to figure out when I should hit the ball when I should do the swipe. So I don't hear the audio right now because I'm recording and the audio is being recorded and I cannot hear it at the same time. So it's a bit difficult here, but you, go, you guys probably get the point. So right now we got two, two gold for doing that one. If we can do another one consecutively, like in a row without missing, we should get a higher multiplier. We're, doing, we're hitting it a bit too early here. That was a bit too late. Let's try again. Okay, there we go, there we go. That was one. That was too, oh, I thought we were gonna hit it there. We have a couple of different, uh, we have a couple of different objectives in this level though. We have to reach a streak of 10. We have to get 35 fans, we get more fans, the more uh, shots we hit properly. So that was one more fan there actually. That is nice, we're up to seven fans now it seems. Oh, and eight fans, eight fans even though we actually missed. Let's see if we can do the normal hits though. It should be a bit easier without the, uh, without the audio cue. We were just interrupted by quick ad there, but we can skip them immediately, luckily, at least most of them. So that is how the game monetizes through these ads. Oh, we're doing great here now, guys. Look at this. Here we go. We just had to watch an ad, probably. Now we're doing really great. So we got up to five in a streak there. So let's try going back here. I want to show you guys another game mode that's also in here. So that is the cup challenge. The cup challenge is really interesting, I think, because we have to do different things on time. So we only have one minute and 10 seconds to do 30 hits here. So that can be, become a bit challenging, actually, especially if you want to do the more tricky shots. But with this one, you probably just want to go for the normal shot because that is the fastest one to do. And since this is on time, we just want to see if we can hit this one 30 times before the time runs out. And then once we do that, we get another objective that we have to do as well. And if we fail that other objective, we have to start all the way over for, for, uh, from this one uh, again. Of course, in terms of monetization, we can also pay to just remove the ads. So there's a simple in-app purchase on a couple of US dollars to remove all the ads from the game. Apart from that, you can buy gold in-game as well. But we get the gold simply by hitting the um, the crossbar here. And we can use that gold to buy new balls. Luckily, the balls don't really influence the game. And we can also buy new characters. So the monetization is very relaxed. Of course, it's focusing primarily on the, uh, on the cosmetics. You guys can see that we're actually using a different ball here. You probably can't see that because you haven't seen the standard one. But we're using one that I actually acquired for gold that I earned in game. Are we gonna make this one though? 16 seconds left, 15 seconds left on the clock, and we only have to hit it six more times. Come on, we might actually be able to make this one, guys. This is exciting, three more times. Come on, come on, come on. No, okay, two more times, two more times. Come on. No, no, we failed. That, that was cheating though. It was in slow-mo, we were so close. That was so close though. But if we finish that one, we get on to the next challenge over here to the right of that, and then one more, and then one more. And if we do that, we complete the, uh, that cup. We've also got a multiplayer coming really soon. I so much hope that that's gonna be real-time multiplayer. How awesome would that be? Realistically though, it's probably gonna mean that we're gonna fight against other players' uh, characters, but that doesn't really make sense because then it's just AI would be the same as just having a bot mode. So I do hope that it's gonna be online, hopefully. I wanna quickly show you guys the, the store in here. This is where we can buy new balls. You guys can see we can buy new designs. And uh, there are some really interesting ones, and of course you can buy one, some with your with your country flag on. You can buy some really expensive and fancy ones for 5,000. And then we can also buy new uh, new football players here. So we've got a couple of uh, couple of really interesting ones. Obviously, some that that is made to resemble real life football players. We also got a bear. <laughs> I found that interesting. That that one actually gives two two times gold. We also got a snow 
uh, snowman, so that's interesting as well. Lovely characters in here, uh, plenty of stuff that you can unlock if you want to dive deeper into the game. And then, of course, in terms of monetization, as I said, for three US dollars or, or two US dollars, you can remove all the ads and you get some gold as well. And then, of course, you can buy gold in game as well if you don't want to wait for it. You can also watch an ad to get some gold. So, this, this is the typical monetization for a casual. Casual mobile game, casual arcade-ish mobile game, and I really like the way the game monetizes um, because we can remove the ads, so in that case it's fine, I'm fine with the ads in, in that case. And then the incentivized ads, of course, that all, always works, and because there's no multiplayer online, online multiplayer just yet, and there's nothing that really influences other players, I'm fine with there being in a purchases as well. But what do you guys think about this game? Let me know down in the comments section down below, and also do let me know if you've heard about it before, or what your favorite sports game is, because I think that there aren't that many great sport games on mobile, and this one is actually, it's so simple, but it's really interesting, and for that reason, I really like it. But what do you guys think about it? Let me know down below, and until next time, guys, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around.